Hi guys, it's the Norfolk Tool Guy here, and um, I'm finally going to get around to going through this uh, mystery green toolbox I picked up a couple of weeks ago. I know a lot of people have been asking for it, so I thought today's the day before work later on, and while the weather's so horrible, um, I thought I'd take you along with me. Right, so as you can see, it's uh, jam-packed full of things, so we'll just slowly work our way through it and see what we've got. So first of all we've got ourselves a set of piano wire CK uh, side cutters, wire cutters. Always nice to have. This is a pair of ooh, made in Germany CK circlip pliers. Um, some needle nose. Um, I'm not sure of the brand of those. Not one I've seen before. So we got here. We've got a Belzer extra chrome vanadium made in Germany nut driver. These are always handy. It's quite a, quite a fun size that. Got a tap handle, die, whichever one it is, can never remember. And we've got a pair of Chinesium combination pliers, linesman pliers. Quite a big chunky pair of that. Uh, got one of these angled screwdrivers. Oh, it'd help if I kept it in focus and on the screen. It's hard to do, uh, look at what I'm looking at and this. Uh, can't seem to see a maker's mark on there. I'm using the camera to sort of try and spot it. So, put that over there. Um, a couple of these little pairs of scissors. They always clean up and sell, so always handy. Nice diddy pair of uh, combination pliers. Can't see a name or a maker's mark, but something may come up after a bit of cleaning. Some form of chisel. Quite a few pairs of feeler gauges, they're always handy, although you do start to build up quite a stack of them. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Made in England. Oh, if it focuses, can't quite make out a name on those ones. Little silver pen knife, always fun. And then we've got some more of these chisels. Well, I'm assuming they probably didn't start life as chisels, but. That's obviously what someone's decided to use them for. That looks like it used to be part of a turn screw, old screwdriver. Just a regular old little chisel there. Oh, it keeps going. There's more in this top tray. Uh, sort of a nail set, almost. Pokey thing, as 357 Magdad would say. And... Looks like it's a form of auger bit. Got quite a collection of auger bits going on at the moment. Right, sorry about that guys. I uh, accidentally cut the video instead of pause when I was moving to the next tray. So we're going to move over to this this side here. See what we've got. Got to try and do all of this one-handed. Ah, we've got sort of a cheapy set of the sort of uh what's the brand oh come on Alan, you can think i'll come back to you on that one quite, uh, quite well known for those uh combination uh knives and all that um 
looks to be an old Stanley brand screwdriver, but uh, no Stanley markings. Just if we can make it out, if it focuses, made in England. Nice wooden handle, turn screw, flathead screwdriver, and it's a footprint brand. Should be able to straighten that out. And we've got ourselves a little Irwin stubby. Uh, well, they got uh, radius um, scribes. I think that's the name of them, or the use of them. Your run of the mill junior hack. Not too interested. I've, I only like my funky handle junior hacksaws. Uh, okay, screwdriver. Chrome vanadium. 1000 volts. Germany. Hmm. Let's see, it's, it's, uh, it looks a bit seized in there, but it's one of the ones with. Uh, you can flip it round, change it to a hex head, or um, uh, a Phillips or a. Um, Flat, kind of a cheapy screwdriver. Can take out a bunch of things. It's really oily inside this uh, toolbox. All right, we've got a glass cutter. Glass cutter. Ooh, if it focuses, West German. Another cheapy screwdriver. Steadfast. These are always nice. Spiralax. Quite a few of the Stanley Yankee screwdriver style spiral axes. Unbranded um, cheapy screwdriver. And a little ratchet in one. There is a brand on here that is. Guys. Always a bit of fun they are. There we go. Scraper blade. Just one of those little, like, uh, scrapers. So this is my sort of first video, so I'm still getting, well, making, you know, getting used to this. A bit stuttery. Now, tape measure. A bit crusty, but, oh, nice. Another pair of very crusty pliers Try make it on maker's mark or name nothing i can see uh, bits of sandpaper some uh plaster plug blades for a stanley knife no barcode so it's probably new old stock there's a lot of hacksaw blades in here new old stock hacksaw blades which are always going to come in handy Last three items from that top drawer that isn't glue and sandpaper is a little torpedo spirit level and the bubble still seems to be attached. Yeah, I've got a little stubby. Come on, focus. Chrome vanay. No maker's mark and on a really lovely ratcheting screwdriver here. So I can clean that up and get a name on that later. Possibly a Stanley, but I'm not sure I'm not seeing a Stanley in that style. Right. Okay, we're now on to the uh, next tray along. A few of the bigger items. We've got what appears to be an upholstery sort of nail puller, staple puller. Uh, uh, Chinesium scraper, but it's got a nice cheap wooden handle. Lots of screwdrivers in these uh, trays here. All right, we've got another one of those spiral axes, and we've got an old Stanley, old yellow handle Stanley, number two thousand and eight, four inch, made in England, and the white one. Little nut driver. 
a very, very oily small ratchet hand screwdriver. Seems to be the smaller version of that one we had a minute ago. Everything's stuck. Now we've got a very crusty, don't know if you can see that. that, smells as soon as I've pulled it out. Screwdriver, there's a few drill bits in there and a few pokey things. We've got ourselves another, everything's just so oily and grubby. Nearly stabbed myself with this. It appears to be homemade or possibly have melted in whatever's in the, it's been laying in for so long. Craft knife. And it seems to be we've got a bunch more stubbies and craft knives, but we didn't we didn't come here to look just screwdrivers. There's got to be something else in here. We've got a little ball peen, nice size, a lot of tapes, I would imagine that means the uh, handle has a crack in it somewhere along the line. So, um, always end up with so many of these bicycle tools. Another chisel of sorts. And we have a Really sure. I'll have to take it off camera to look at this. GG. Maybe potentially a marples. I'm not. I'm not too glued up on uh, chisel brands. There's quite a few of those chisels in here, and then we've got the tap handle. Seems to be an ongoing thing. This big wide chisel. This is. Sheffield, can't quite make out the brand. It's a little man with a cane there, though. Sorry if this is going to be a long video. This is uh, me sort of doing this for the first time and uh, trying to figure it all out as I go along. Uh, then we've got one of these little hand drills, hand augers. Chisel pieces out. Right, we have another set of three chisels. Focus, come on. Bring the focus back. No name on that one. Another number branded one. Uh, There we go, another no, no name chisel. Last thing of interest from that side is this lovely Harris brass wire brush on a wooden handle. Come in handy in some restorations, I'm sure. Right, so from the bottom now, we've got a lovely, it's my first one of these, the Upholstery tack hammers. It's in pretty good shape, I'd say. It's a made in England. Might be able to get a name off that. A bit of cleaning. Then we've got one of those old, the old school fire iron, uh, fire irons, um, soldering iron. The little diddler. I got one the other day. It's got a really nice sort of brass handle on it. Uh, what have we got here? Uh, unsure. Looks like the kind of things you get from a petrol station. You know, they have them on, on offer above the pumps. Oh, we got ourselves another ball peen. Very oily. This is what I'm dealing with at the bottom here. Can't tell if that's a maker's mark or someone's pounded on the side of it using it as a small anvil. Oh, we've got a um, 
jab saw, pad saw kind of thing, you know, broken hacksaw blade handle. Can't quite make out a maker's mark on that one, so that should clean up, I'd imagine. And we've got an old hand drill. Old. Not, it might not be particularly old. Not sure of the brand. Don't know if anyone else is familiar with them. It's got some weight to it, but uh, don't know if it's going to be particularly good. Some decorating tools, you know, you always end up with these sort of um, multi-face uh, trowels, scrapers as such. And a uh, pruning knife, putty knife, there is a name on there, but it's buried under a bunch of surface rust so I'm sure we'll be able to dig that out and find out later on. Some spanners now. We've got chrome vanadium made in Germany. Allura, that's an Allura. There we go. I've got quite a few Allura spanners now so I'll add that to the collection. That's a Gordon Tools. Sorry if I'm rushing, rushing through this, so I'm just trying to make it so it's not a ridiculously long video. And we've got a big snail brand, Let's know, maybe modified, maybe it used to have two sizes. That's a, that's a big snail brand there. Another double-ended ring spanner. And this is... Heron brand? Her brand, her brand. Not heard of them. I don't know if anyone else has had a, a running with her brand tools before. Two footprints, or are they footprints? Mm, they seem to be. Footprint copies. We got here. Ah, yes. German. So, footprint style, but I don't think they're a footprint. This one potentially could be a footprint, but uh, I don't know. Marked, uh, where is it? Marked foreign. So, two footprint copies. A little King Dick here. Or British made, potentially a King Dick. A bunch of loose spanners rolling around the bottom here. We've got another. Well, I don't know. There's just a just an arrow there. Not sure on the brand. And one of these sort of scraping um, triangular blade tools, you know, for uh, decorators. Compulsory Allen keys on a key ring set. Here, another appears to be another one of those pruning putty knives. Uh, can't make out a brand, but it does come with a nice, potentially homemade sheath and a big pair of. I mean, that's a that's a sizable set of pliers. Not sure on the brand of those. Uh, velocity spanners. I've just sold a bunch of these on eBay. Always seem to sell well. Nice sort of fat chisel as well. You can't help with these fat, but it's just his bone structure. Uh, bicycle, bicycle spanner. A very, very bent TW Super Slim. And we have a made in the USA drop forged. No branding. Very oily. It's getting very oily down the bottom here. Right. The super wrench. Chrome alloy. So Williams. Nice. They 
starting to build like I always try and pick up these Williams spanners when every time I see them lion brand never heard of him a nice chunky little guy it's getting it's just getting so oily down the bottom here little TW but it's not, not a super slim uh, we've got a DIN it's a little snail brand uh, Ford maybe maybe a nice Ford toolkit spinner we've got so I'm trying to do all this one handed Eagle brand Chrome vanadium, I say Allura, Allura. One of those nice sort of off sp offset spanners. And we've got a hair brand, another little hair brand. And now we have a Allura. A just a made in England. Can't seem to find a name on it. Used to be a cheapy modern 17 X Industrial. Hmm. Not sure on that one. So there's going to be a lot of me not sure on <laughs> quite a few spanner brands. Chrome Vanadium. This is another Allura. That sort of pretty much wraps it up. There's a few hidden screwdrivers, a few in there, but I mean, the state of that. I made in England, but I don't think you'll get much more off it. And uh, yeah, just a few more screwdrivers in there. But uh, yeah, so that's me finally going through.